Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the antimicrobial drugs and in that case we have also got to know that this antibiotic is also a part of an antimicrobial drug. So based on that let us understand that is what is antibiotic and what are the types of antibiotic. So friends, in this topic, we are going to talk about the definition of antibiotic as well as the types of antibiotic. So for that, we have the definition that is, antibiotic is a drug derived from the living matter or microorganisms used to kill or prevent the growth of the other microorganisms and those drugs are basically known as antibiotics. For example, penicillin. So penicillin was the first antibiotic that was basically derived in a very successful manner and it was being derived from Alexander Fleming. So based on that, we have structure of penicillin and this is what I would talk about. So friends, this is the structure of penicillin where we can find that is there are two cyclic groups that is here basically we can find a four member ring and if we talk about this one, so this is a five member ring. So here we see there is a nitrogen while here there is a sulfur and talking about that is this is an R group. This R, it could be methyl, ethyl or depending on the other, other alkyl group that would be associated to C double bond or NH that is an amide group. And here also we can see that is a carboxyl group that has been present over here and these are the two methyl groups. And and here basically we can see a carbonyl group so therefore this is the structure of penicillin and this is the most important structure that is what we have to do for chemistry in everyday life chapter so talking about the antibiotic the antibiotics are of different types so those two different types are that is bactericidal and bacteriostatic so bactericidal is nothing but are those antibiotics which have the tendency to kill the microorganisms and or to kill the bacteria so in this case basically example like penicillin and that is amino glycoside so these are basically the bactericidals and talking about the next that is bacteriostatic so what is bacteriostatic it is nothing but it is it is the antibiotic which stops the growth of the microorganisms and that's the reason the name is bacteriostatic so talking about the examples that is erythromycin that is tetracycline so these are the examples of the bacteriostatic and now let us understand the other classifications of the antibiotic so antibiotics are also classified depending on the spectrum of action so based on that they are basically divided into two types and those types are narrow spectrum antibiotic and broad spectrum antibiotic so what is narrow spectrum antibiotic so those antibiotic which have an effect against either gram positive or either gram negative bacteria those are known as narrow spectrum antibiotic and talking about broad spectrum antibiotics so therefore these are the antibiotics which have a wide range of action and that can affect both the gram positive as well as gram negative bacteria and those are known as broad spectrum antibiotics so this was nothing but a small example related to what is actually antibiotic and what are the types of antibiotic and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much